لا 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 ماريا كاي سا ماريا ورشا So, do you have like some old, cool, vintage suitcases just lying around the house that you just can't seem to get rid of? Well, don't throw them out or give them to Goodwill just yet. Why don't we make a chair using them? So, I've actually, I have one, of course, because I don't throw anything away. And I thought this would be a really cool base for a chair. So, let's get started and I'll show you how easy this project really is by using most of the products and materials that you can find right here in your very own home. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get us a piece of plywood that actually will fit into our, our suitcase here. And I actually found this off an old entertainment center, of course, because I still have that. I keep it just because I might need it for wood. And it actually fits perfectly right in here. So I'm going to use that as our base so it'll, it'll give the suitcase more support when you're sitting. So you're just going to place that inside there. So I went to the local hardware store and I've got four legs that you can buy that actually have little screw tops and we're going to take those screw tops out and actually put in a double sided screw which kind of looks this pointy on both ends and we're going to screw that in and then I'll show you what we're going to do next. Okay so the next thing we need to do is actually drill two holes in each corner so we can fasten our board and we'll put that back in there and then put screws in it. So just go ahead and drill your hole. Okay, so now put your board back in the base and get you a, a medium sized screw and then you're just going to drill it until it fastens into the wood. So I've got our wooden legs and I'm actually going to take a double ended screw and I'm going to screw in all the way to the end of this one and then I'm going to take a drill bit that's about the half the size of the diameter in this screw and I'm going to actually place it right here and then I'm going to just twist this right in and it'll go right into our wood. Okay so now it's time to start on our cushion. You see I've already got the chair assembled and this will actually just lean up against a wall and I've already put the legs on and it's actually very sturdy. So what we need to do first is get us just some miscellaneous batting. I got this out of an old chair I had laying around and just some other ones and you're just going to get some spray adhesive and spray it on the base here that you've actually screwed your legs into. Okay so I got some really pretty like pinstripe fabric and I've uh, cut it evenly in half and I'm actually going to sew like a pillow and you don't have to make it like a perfect stitch because you're actually going to attach it to the base here. So you just want to basically get a piece about like a rectangle and just fold it in half and then get you some batting. I'm actually going to use some old pillows that I just have that I'm actually going to throw out. The batting's still good so just use that and then um, sew it together. So basically we just want to make sure we have enough batting from our old pillow and you see I'm just cut it simply open and then I'm just going to make sure that it's not too plush so you might want to take some out so just one pillow um, per cushion will do now that you've actually sewn the back in you're just going to make little rivets and I'm basically just taking a needle and I've just sewn right through the pillow and just tightly um, made a knot on one end and that actually makes a nice little rivet and once you have it all sewn together you're just going to use some spray adhesive spray it on the surface and then just tuck in your cushion and voila you have a suitcase chair